A Clinton woman who was repeatedly losing money to scammers discovered she was being scammed when she saw a report on CBS 17 about how criminals operate. So in a story you'll see only on CBS 17, consumer investigator Steve Sparatia was able to confront the scammer and stop her from losing even more money. There's a gift card for just about everything. And it was that report on Tuesday that tipped off Edna Bass. She'd been victimized by a scammer who told her she'd won the lottery. You have just won a eight point million dollars in a Persady car. But he told Edna she needed to pay taxes and fees of two hundred and fifty dollars and to buy a gift card for that amount. He wanted to know the numbers on my card back in front and that's the way it started, and he kept on. That night, he called again and said that that wasn't enough, that he had to have $300. Over and over again, he called. By Tuesday of last week, she'd given him $1,600. At what point did you realize that you were being scammed? Well, I seen it on TV about two or three days ago. There was a lady up there saying she got scammed. I absolutely could not believe that I had done it. And when you saw that report on Channel 17, how did your heart feel? It dropped to my stomach, and I got real nervous and started crying. Edna agreed to do this interview to help others avoid being scammed, but while we were talking, the scammer called again. Because we're not allowed to broadcast his voice without permission, we're using subtitles. We asked Edna to string him along. I couldn't come up with the $350 mark. He asks, well, how much money can you come up with? I had not got much. It was supposed to be 350 says the scammer, but we could give it to you for $250. Okay, 250 will work. So how long do you think you can get it done, says the scammer? Okay, hold on just a minute and let me look at the clock. Hello, sir. This is consumer investigator Steve Sprazier from CBS 17. We're doing an interview with Edna right now. You're running a scam, and you've already taken $1,600. So well, son of a gun. He hung up. He hung up on us. Imagine that. Now, Edna did file a police report with the Sampson County Sheriff's Office, but she realizes she probably won't get her $1,600 back. Her message to anybody being asked to pay for something with a gift card, don't do it. It's a scam. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasia. I'm glad Steve could stop that guy.